Hello and welcome to BJA Ceramics. My name is Benita and in this video I want to share with you some pottery tools that I purchased from Amazon.com. So this first box of tools um, is a phenomenal buy. I just want to say that right off the bat. Um, as I said, I purchased this from Amazon.com and um, great tools. So I'm going to open it up and let you see what they look like. So this was a set of eight tools that I purchased for $7.99. Not bad at all. Um, when I looked at these tools, I was so shocked of the quality and stainless steel. And I believe that the wooden part is, is real wood. Don't quote me on that, but it feels like it's real wood. And I did use one of them, so I'm going to show you a demo of how they work and how they performed on the pot that I created. Now, I used this one right here, and it performed very well on my pot. Now, a lot of these come in different sizes and different shapes. Um, that one's shaped more like a triangle. This is a rectangle shape. Um, and then the next one is a smaller rectangle shape or squared. Now, this is a hook, and this could be used to make those rounded edges that you want another hook at, at a different size and I think that's a smaller one right there and this one looks more like an exacto knife but I guess if you wanted to use it as a, a needle tool you could as well now these tools are for trimming and carving or they could be used for any type of craft that you you are involved with and I will leave a link um, in the description box. So if you are interested in purchasing these from Amazon, just go to that link and it'll send you right to the product. Now, the next tools that I purchased were from a place called Timu. I'm sure everyone's heard of Timu. Now, I purchased these sponges. The sponges are used to remove water from your pot. Um, sometimes you might not want to put your hand down there and these are just very easy. Let me adjust my camera so that you can see this a little better. And it's just a little easier for you to grab that water from the bottom um, by using these. And it comes with four in a pack and two were larger so you get different sizes. And right here you have your silicon sculpturing tools that you can use for um, helping you put those handles or smoothing out those handles on the pots. And these scrape tools, I use these a lot when I am reclaiming my clay. Um, if I want to scrape some clay off my table, they come in handy. And also from Timu, I purchased these letters. They're very small. I have not used them yet, but I'll let you know how they turn out. Also from Timu, in the package came these dotting tools um, where we could make decorations on our pots. Um, these are the smaller ones, and they also had like a larger ones, uh, which you see right now, where we can make shapes or just beautiful dots on our pots. <laughs> and also plastic tools. I'm not sure how these are going to perform since they are uh, plastic. I'm used to using wood, so I'll let you know how that turned out. And you can use those for carving or sculpturing you know, whatever it is that you're doing. And it also came with this beautiful handy dandy um, case where you can place your materials in there and zip it up. So that was from Timu. Now I am going to demonstrate how the Amazon.com tools performed on my pot. Okay, so let me um, get everything in position. So right here, what I am going to do, I know it looks strange to you. I have two pencils here, and you're wondering, why does she have pencils there? Well, this is a little trick that I like to use. Let me adjust my camera so you can see again. So this is a trick that I like to use. Um, I put one pencil inside of the pot, the other pencil on, on the outside of the pot. And that tells me how much clay I have at the bottom. Because sometimes I forget and, you know, I don't want to punch a hole down in the center of it just to find out. So that was my little method of figuring out how much clay I have at the bottom. So if you want to use that tip, go right ahead. So right now I am centering my pot. And um, 
making sure that it uh, sticks to my bat as I'm trimming. And here we go. And I found this very, very easy to use. As you can see, it's very smooth. It's taking the clay off very nicely. Those beautiful rings, look at those ringlets that's coming off of that. And I noticed that you get a different effect depending on how much pressure you put against the clay. So sometimes I get those lines, if I'm pressing a little hard against the clay, I get those little ring lines. And if I take a little pressure off, then I get more of a smooth transition. So it's going to take me some time to really learn how to use these, but so far I like them. Now I'm at the top of my, or at the bottom of my pot. Uh, this is actually going to be a mug. So as you know, there's always a lot of clay at the bottom of the pot. So I really love the fact that I can place the tip of that metal right inside of the clay and it just pulls the clay out so quickly and smoothly. So I really did appreciate that. And as you see, it's very smooth. It evens out the bottom. And I just love to watch, watch the clay just come right off. It's just incredible how it just peels off like that. So right there, I'm digging a little deep and um, I'm gonna smooth it out. You're gonna see at the end, I'm gonna show you the results of it. And I found it very um, helpful to guide it. I'm left-handed, so I found, found it um, helpful to guide it with my right hand so that, you know, I had the smoothest transition as I possibly could get. So let me adjust my cameras to make sure you can see this a little closer and a little better. So you can see how smooth it is. And as far as cleaning the tools, I would never recommend you putting tools in water. Um, I would recommend just using a damp cloth to clean clean off your tools um, because we want our tools to last, last us a long time. And right here, I just switched back to the regular basic tool because I'm so used to using this tool to obtain a round bottom. I'm sure the other tool could have done it, but I haven't used it long enough. Um, and I'm going to practice with it and I'm, I'm sure it could give me the same results or I can use one of the other tools that are slightly bent to make that uh, round shape that I'm looking for. Um, yeah, so this is, this is a thumbs up so far. So I'm testing, I'm tapping at the bottom of my pot, make sure that I do not go down too far. Now I am changing back to my to my new tool and just evening out that bottom and by the way the the type of clay that I'm using is called fool's gold um, I've been using that clay for a while I really love it and it is a clay with grog. It has beautiful black speckles in it. Um, it's a stoneware. And the speckles are just incredible after firing. Now, one thing about these tools here is that depending on how you hold it, the angle in which you hold it, you can create something that's called chattering. And I wasn't, um, I wasn't aiming for that effect. Um, this is just for the purpose of demonstrating so everyone can see how they how it, it works but it created some chattering on here and I'm going to show you as soon as I'm done with it as you can see I don't know if you can see now but the little lines there and I'm going to pop that off and look how smooth that bottom is look how smooth the tool worked with that bottom and now you can see the lines um, the little bit of chattering going on down there and pretty cool that wasn't my desired look but it happened um, so if you angle your tool a certain way you will you know, achieve those um, those results so right here I'm just trimming a bowl I'm using my left hand and holding my camera with my right hand so 
but if you are interested in purchasing these uh, products look at the description um, it is a great buy you get eight tools and I know we are trying to save money nowadays some of us and to spend twenty dollars and more just for one tool is just it's just it could be outrageous it could just be costly so this is another alternative for you um, I hope you enjoyed the video um, I will leave a name of the Timu um, where you can get those pottery tools in Timu so I thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe and leave a like or a comment thank you so much